everybody i'm here today with an unboxing video you can see what it is by the title but i actually got two packages today which i wasn't expecting because um oh, i'm dropping things um i got noticed that one of them wasn't going to come until like next week and then the other one they said they had no estimated delivery date uh, it was coming from the states and with the whole covid thing and everything um you know mail's been delayed all sorts of stuff which is fine because it isn't like the most essential item um i'm okay with that i'm okay with waiting but then both packages came today so it was like oh this is a really nice surprise so um i'm not going to show you the address obviously that's the first one there um, so this one is a book, I'm pretty sure, um, that I ordered. And I ordered it because I saw, there's a subscription box. I think it's called the Witches Box, and it's books. And I heard a lot of people talking about this. And I ordered this book along with um, the other book they had for that month. So this is Planetary Magic. I actually had had my eye on this book for a while because I do work with the uh, astrological gods, so to speak. So I was very curious to see their take on it. There's this and then there's planetary uh, spells, I think it is, spells and rituals. So um, I'm also curious about that one. That one won't come to later, though. They, they don't have it in stock. So whenever it comes back in. So I'm very excited to see what's going on with this one, what kind of take there is on it. Um, it looks very, um, it looks very ceremonial, but I am curious to see what they say about it huh all sorts of interesting things in here so i'm i uh, will do a, a review of this when i'm done reading it but that was the first thing that i got and then now for the main event uh which is this deck which i have been avoiding unboxing videos of because i you know i like to be surprised i mean obviously when i buy a deck i've already seen sample sample cards uh, so that's great. I, I, you know, like I wouldn't order a deck if I didn't know what it looked like. Um, but oh, it is yay! But um, you know, I wanted I want to leave some surprise. So here we have the Dark Wood Tarot by Sarah Graham and artwork by Abigail Larson. And I love her artwork. It's very witchy. It's very dark. It's very earthy. So um, I really love her earth, her artwork. So when I heard that she had a tarot deck and I saw some of the images, I was like, okay, this is going on my pre-order list. So this, this was something I pre-ordered um, a while ago. So it's been on my radar for a bit. I am trying to cut the plastic off and not doing a very good job. It's always my bane is the, the plastic. Um, and sometimes I wonder, maybe you should just cut the plastic first and then start filming the video, Lou. But anyway, okay, finally, whew, got into it. I don't know why they put plastic around these boxes. Um, to me, it seems like a bit of a waste of plastic, but okay, whatever. So this is a Llewellyn box, and I do, I do love their newer boxes, I have to say, um, because they're a lot sturdier. Do you remember the old boxes? They were very flimsy, and you couldn't really keep them. This is nice and sturdy. It's got the magnetic clasp. Who doesn't love a magnetic clasp? Uh, so that's what the cover looks like there. That's the back, so nice and sturdy. Um, open it up. Oh, that's lovely. We've got our book here. We've got a really nice design here on the inside of the lid. We've got our little red ribbon to pull it out. So design wise, this, this looks lovely. So we'll look at the book in a sec, but it is like a nice, uh, chunky, thick book. I do like a nice chunky guidebook. And then we have our cards here. So that's awesome. Oh, I love to when cards, instead of wrapping the entire thing in plastic, they just have a sleeve. Oh, this one is entirely in plastic. So we'll have to get through that as well. So we have here on the inset, this here, the dark wood tarot, we've got a red ribbon. So points for the um, packaging, definitely very nice packaging. Um, I see our tarot deck size is kind of your standard Llewellyn size, more plastic. We could do with less plastic. Um, I think just having a plastic sleeve around it or a paper sleeve, actually paper is better because it can be recycled, uh, sleeve around the cards themselves suffices. They don't need all of this plastic. Just that's a minor criticism, but um, yes, don't need all this plastic. Okay, so getting through the plastic again. 
All right. Okay, so we have our deck. So this is the back here. I have to say I'm not crazy about the backings. Um, it is reversible, which is nice because I do read reversals. Not that that's a make or break for me because I'll, I'll read reversals regardless of what's kind of on the back. You can see it's got a glossy um, finish to it. I actually don't mind that. I know people love matte right now, but I actually find it harder to shuffle, harder to pick the cards out of, so I don't mind that it's a bit glossy, even if it's not the always the easiest to photograph. But um, the backing, I'm not too crazy about. It's just, I just think it could look a little bit better. Okay, so uh, card stock, typical Llewellyn, you know, like it's fairly thin. Um, it's not the worst though, and it is great for shuffling. So I do like that. Okay, let's get to the cards. I don't know if I'll show you them all. Um, I noticed right away that there is a significant border on here, but it's not the worst because the picture goes into the border as you can see there. So there's our fool there. She's got like a fox and a cat with her. I love that. We've got our magician. Oh, I like the high priestess. It's very nice. We've got our empress here. It's beautiful red. She is pregnant. I know that is not um, a favorite of everybody to have a pregnant empress. Oh, the emperor is interesting. I like that. We got this goat here. Very cool. Oh, the higher friends is beautiful too. Love that. Love the keys there. I love that she's like this old sort of like tree type creature. We got the lovers. Very nice. Oh, the chariot's interesting. We have an eagle here. Oh, strength. Instead of a lion, it's a snake. That is an interesting alternative, that's for sure. I love the hermit. I've seen this image, and, and I just really, really love that. Beautiful hermit there. Their lamp. We got the Wheel of Fortune here. Uh, let's see. Oh, the Hangman. That is beautiful. I'm not going to show you them all. But, um, oh, Death. That is lovely. There's a beautiful Death. We've got our Devil here. Very nice. Very cool. I was expecting good things with the Devil with her. Um, the star is really beautiful. Um, judgment. Oh, that's an interesting one. There's some interesting interpretations here. So I'm, I'm curious to see the book. We've got our Ace of Wands here. Very beautiful. Four of Wands. That's interesting. We've got a troll under the bridge. Hmm, some men in here. Queen of Wands, which is my uh, soul card, one of my cards. Uh, Queen of Wands, very, very nice. She's very fiery. She's got the little cat in the corner. I always appreciate it when they have the cat there. Very beautiful. Got her Ace of Cups. Oh, I love the Ace of Swords. Very nice. Oh, the Two of Swords. That's very cool. She's sitting there, and then you have these spirits and goblins and things kind of... Uh, coming around her. Ooh, three swords. And we've got like a big gross spider there. Oh, the four of swords is very, it's very sleeping beauty. Oh dear, five of swords. That is quite dramatic. Somebody being whipped. Let's see, we've got our eight of swords. And our nine. I like this knight of swords. All the crows flying around him. And our queen of swords. I know a lot of people love a good queen of swords. Very, very cool. Okay, we've got our pentacles. There's the ace of pentacles, which is the design on the inside of the box. Oh, the two. What is this box? One sec. Oh. Okay, no, that's me. Sorry, I thought I turned things around on myself. Okay, two of pentacles. <laughs> Look at him, he's spooky, spooky tree with his pentacles. 
I don't really care for the three of pentacles. It just seems like kind of boring design to me. Lots of tree spirits in this one. Oh, six. Look at that, the devil giving out stuff. Very interesting take. I'm curious to see what the book says. Okay. Oh, we've got nine. We've got our nine. She's a bat. Very cool. All right. We've got our knight here. Oh, I love the queen of pentacles. She's very earthy. She's got a rabbit with her. It's very sexy. And then our knight, or our king of pentacles there with his with his horn creatures. So very interesting deck. It looks really cool, really interesting. It's about, you know, it's your typical Llewellyn size. It's glossy. I know not everyone loves the Llewellyn cardstock. I don't mind it personally. Um, I could see this people edging this in kind of a nice sort of like goldy green color. Um, it does have borders, but the, I don't mind the borders because the picture flows into the borders. So it's, it's not, it's not like a huge deal breaker for me. Um, most of them, I didn't really notice it too much. Um, I am of course going to work with this deck and let you know what I think of it. Um, let's take a quick look at the book. So we've got, um, as I mess things up. Okay. So we've got a really nice, uh, book here. It's like nice glossy cover. Oh, it's full color. Love that. Inside it's got like spider web. All right. So we've got, uh, let's see. So that's introduction. Of course, part one, reading the wood. So we've got once upon a time, like it's just, it's, very well designed, beautiful pictures, how to do intuitive readings, shadow meanings in the tarot, upside down world of reversals, book of shadows, talks about um, enchantments, recurring patterns, uh, dealing with the court cards, and then you've got your, your spreads there. So just a little bit in the intro, and then we go into the cards. So there's a little bit of a prologue. Then we talk about the fool. Is there an image here? Yes, we have an image. And we have about, it looks like there's two pages of, two or three pages of information. So a good amount of information. Then we've got our meaning, and then we've got the shadow meaning as well. So it's got a right side up and an upside down. Uh, high Priestess, same thing, meaning and shadow. So that seems to be the formula for most of it. So we've got our Major Arcana. And then we go into the Wands. And same thing, the Wands have, um, it looks like there's like about two pages of information here, which is pretty good. And then they've got like a key phrase as well. So for example, seven of wands, confront the shadow, eight of wands, a mermaid's dream, 10 of wands, demonic fire. So each one has kind of a, a different little kind of title to it. Page of wands is burning ember, queen of wands, charismatic flame. So you get the idea that they each have kind of a keyword type thing to it. Um, and then they have information about the card and then they have the right side up and the upside down meaning to it. Um, and then let's see if there's anything at the end. There's just like a little epilogue at the end. So pretty standard kind of Llewellyn guidebook. Um, I'm curious to work with it. I do love that, um, you know, it's all, it's all in this, all in color. Um, it's very nice. It's like kind of, it's weird. It's like not totally glossy, the paper. It's kind of got a bit of a, you could probably hear that. It's not totally glossy and smooth. I don't mind that, that it's kind of textured. It'll probably hold up a bit better. Um, so yeah, so I'm very pleased with this. And um, yeah, that's that's my little unboxing and first impressions of the Darkwood Tarot. Um, let me know what you think of it. Do you like this deck? Do you not like this deck? Let me know. And um, I will talk to you next time. And as always, um, peace and love. And peace.